Hey everyone, Wayne here on the Fusion 360 team at Autodesk. Did you ever wonder what the K factor means when you're setting up your sheet metal rules? Well, here's some insight. Anytime you ever bend a part, there's a section on the inside radius where the material is in compression or being squeezed together. There's a section on the outside radius where it's being in tension, it's being pulled apart or stretched. Now there's a line along that section that neither compression nor tension takes place that's called the neutral axis. And now we can determine the K factor by the distance or a ratio of the distance between the center axis of the bend and that neutral line over the thickness. Now, why is that important? Well, it helps us calculate the minimum bend allowance. So therefore we don't overbend or underbend the part and we can get a very accurate flat pattern to be able to fabricate those components. Now there's a few factors that take place on being able to set up and find uh, that K factor for different materials. It could determine or, or be determined by the material thickness, the inside bend radius, the material's physical properties, or the way that we're actually bending the material in the forming method. Now you can find uh, inside of standard machinery handbooks as well as sheet metal distributors online what some of those K factors may be for most available materials, but I highly recommend finding the K factor specifically for your purpose. Hopefully this has been helpful and keep tuning in to our quick tips.